masiembo masiembo singaba pina tina masiembo masiembo singaba pina tina masiembo siembo sizalo pina tina siembo siembo sizalo I'm an angry person, you know. Uh, I'm very angry at my country. Um, as a, a, a young black South African who's grown up in the township and, and gone to a township school, and the struggle that I've, I've, I've had to face as that, pers as that person, defined as that person, so. But, you know, my heart people are very angry. However, my head people, advised me that, you know, advised my high people that uh, I can use my anger, I can use this emotion as a drive to do something about my life and where I am. And uh, this is what came out of it. Nomsa by Guy Benzino, my great-grandfather. It's a novel about teachers and uh, education and uh, the, the, the play is an adaptation of it um, on my own translation, my own, the, the way I see it and the, the way that it can be translated into the modern times. Was, uh, June was a, a youth month for South African young people and I found a newspaper that my great-grandfather was working for which is Bantu World uh, newspaper. It was I think one of the first if not the first national Bantu newspaper. And it was published in Johannesburg. Um, he was an editor there for the Kosa section. Um, and a reader uh, wrote a letter to the paper in, in January 26, 1935. He asked, what is a teacher? Sir, a teacher is an instructor, a guide, a light to his pupils and people. A good teacher is personality. He also, he is also a disciplinarian, and he must have self-control, friendliness, loyalty, obedience, and purity. His influence must not be limited to school hours only. Sing a pity, sing a pity. Sing of a pity, 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 sing of a pity. Sing So the aim was to treat Unomsa as research. I got to face my shadow in the process. And I began to reflect on what I saw from my inner my inner workings. In finding my shadow, I got exposed to stories of other women as well. I also got exposed to the story of Nonwaose, the Kosa prophetess. This is how I've been guiding myself. And by reading through and digging even deeper into the words that I've written, I'll hopefully Oh, I'll definitely find uh, the final product. I missed the connection between that footage and the piece itself. And I'm wondering, are you going to need to show that footage in the theater because that was not discussed? about having a projector there and all of that. Please. I feel the footage for me, it's very Zulu 
and then a closer uh, level comes uh, on stage. I think you must make a choice. <coughs> Do you send it to yeah. feedback? I think Nayan's uh, choice will whether you want footage or not. I'm, I'm, fe I'm feeling what you're saying about the video. I'm wondering if perhaps you can't find, also the, the sound isn't quite, yeah. even if you were to make it just a something, it's not quite all of it. If you were to find a voice, go on YouTube and find what you're trying to say, ne? and I, I don't know if I'm, I'm, if I'm adding something irrelevant to your piece, I don't think it necessarily has to be directly linked to the context you're going to give us during the performance. So if, it, if it's a voice that is completely contradictory, okay. I think it would be too obvious if I said a white man's voice, but you can think of other sorts of examples. Sorry, it's more on the, 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 the development of the character uh, or the evolution of the teacher than an actual uh, story. So she, 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 she's, she's a, a punisher as well, but that uh, comes from her having been a warrior who fought mm -hmm. in war at, in her past life. So I'm showing her her past lives going backwards from, from being an elderly, being a young woman and being a young warrior. <laughs> Ma siembo singaba pina.